Okay, let's uh, draw a figure for this problem. So we have a particle alpha and it is, uh, moving in a magnetic field with a certain speed and all these constants are given in B and V and then they give you the charge and the mass. Again, the angle between V and B is 52. So if you put this in a figure, you can find the, elect the magnetic force Fb acting on the particle due to the electric field, the magnetic field, sorry. So Fb equals QVB sine 52. Please uh, pay attention to put your calculator in degrees, not in radians. Uh, this force is causing an acceleration. Now, uh, put a pause and think about the type of acceleration in rotational motion. We have two types, normal acceleration and uh, tangential acceleration. If the force is parallel to V, so it is a tangential uh, acceleration. If it is perpendicular to V, it must be the uh, centripetal one. We, it has three names, centripetal acceleration, normal acceleration and radial acceleration because it is on the radius of the circle. If you apply the second law of Newton with uh, uh, in rotational motion, the acceleration is a uh, centripetal one, nearly V squared over R. Now here we don't need the type of acceleration, but keep it in mind uh, because you have the sum of forces. The only force acting over here is the magnetic force divided by the mass. Remember to put it Put it in SI unit in kilograms and you will find the acceleration. In part C, they are asking if the speed is uh, increasing, decreasing, or remain the same. Actually, you can think about this uh, question in two ways. Either you use a, a sum of forces with accelerations or you use the energy and work. Let's start with the first method. Since uh, no forces are acting on the tangential direction, so uh, A tangential is zero and V prime is zero. So derivative is zero, it means that V is constant. Uh, one of you asked if uh, V is constant, how come we have uh, an acceleration, a centripetal acceleration? Actually remember that A centripetal is V squared over R. It's not about the change of V, it's about change of direction of V. Now the second method is uh, if you think about it, since V and F are perpendicular, so the work is equals to zero, and uh, V final is equals to V zero, the no, work energy theorem says the no, work of all the forces, work total, is equals to the change in kinetic energy. So since the work total is zero, delta Ke is zero, and V final is equals to V initial. In this problem, we have a proton that is uh, traveling in a magnetic and an electric field with a certain velocity v is given. And the directions are given, the unknown vectors b, here it's magnitude and direction at the same time. Will v come in? Will electric field is given as a vector? What have you had k or i or j for the directions? Uh, so, I'm going to say sum of forces equals F electric plus F magnetic. F electric, the formula is Q times E. Magnetic force is QVB. But remember, to find the V cross B, we have to do matrix like I, J, K. And then I put in the second row, the V, the velocity, the components. And in the third row, I put the magnetic field component. هلا وقت بقولوا لي مثلا 2000 j velocity it means انه على j i have to put 2000 with i will k هنا zero again i put minus 2.5 milli tesla so 10 minus 3 tesla for uh, b at uh, على i direction so directly i will put it minus 0 0.0025 zero على k and j هلا if you want to do the cross multiplication you have to do the gamma for example to find the Answer on the i direction, you uh, hide the i column with i uh, row, and then you do the gamma 2000 times 0 minus 0 times 0, which is 0. Then minus, j, we, do, we have to put minus, and then again you hide the row and the column at j, it will be 0 times 0 minus minus 0 0.025 
times zero, so the answer is zero. Al k same thing plus uh, and you do the gamma. Uh, if you hide rho and the colon al k, you will uh, you'll be left with zero times zero minus minus zero point zero zero twenty five times two thousand. Hala like minus minus but zero positive al k. Will find an answer on calculator. You can find it as five. So five k. ما عندي شيء لا على i ولا على j. So it's either you write it five k or you put the parentheses with zero zero على i j and five at k. هلا if you want to add the electric field, it depends. Electric field is changing from part A to part B to part C. بس ما تنسوا v cross b is the same لأنه ما عم بغيروها من part للتانية. So I'm not going to do it in this problem to repeat V cross B. I will just add a, a new electric field each time, and then I multiply it by Q. If you go to the first line here on the Ahmar for so F equals Q E plus Q V B. Hala, you only need to replace uh, vectors B and T. So now substitute. Uh, a Q by 1.610 minus 19 times 9K, you will get 1.44 times minus 18 newtons on the K direction. Well, the only thing that the chain has changed in part B and C is the electric field. So instead of 4, it's around minus 4. Uh, and in part C, it is 4I. In rotational motion, we have some of forces equals ma that can be applied. Uh, but remember that we have two types of accelerations, a centripetal and a tangential. And you can see that the centripetal acceleration is directed on the radius of the circle. And the tangential is tangent to that circle. And they are perpendicular with respect to each other. Now, a centripetal is... Uh, has a formula. It is defined by v squared over r, where v is the instantaneous speed and r is the radius of the circle or the radius of the curvature of the circle. So assume you have an ant moving or any particle moving from a to b, the distance is s. It is proportional to the radius or to the angle theta. At the same time, it is proportional to the angle and to the radius, okay? Where the units are meters for uh, S and R and the angle theta is in radians. Uh, so in case you want to increase your portion, your pizza portion, you have to increase whether the radius of the pizza or the angle of your uh, part. Now we have three formulas, S, V, T and A, T where S is the dimension of the arc, okay, it's measured in meter, uh, R is the radius, theta is the angle, and they are related as follow in the formula, and you'll understand it better with the formula of the pizza, I call it pizza formula. Now, let's understand better A centripetal in rotational motion. Even if uh, a particle is moving uh, on a circle with a constant speed, yani the change of speed is zero, يعني V prime is zero, okay, so AT would be zero, لأنه AT هي derivative of VT, but AC is not the derivative of anything, it is V squared divided by R, so it only depends on V, so هذا الباس, تخيلوا عندي باس, ود يلف كوع, so let's put for him a safety acceleration, مثلا بقول له, if you surpass eight meters per second squared, the bus would fall. عن يد الكيرفتشر عن يد الاي سنتريبتر سو بقول له 8 اي ويل ريبليس ات محل الاي سي اند اي هاف تو فايند ذا في ليميت ليميت سبيد فور ذا باس اف ذا راديوس اوف كيرفتشر كون بعرف انا انه الطريق عند كيرفتشر اوف 100 ميترز اي ريبليس 8 ميترز بير سكند سكويرد ان بليس اوف اي سي اند اي ريبليس ار ويز 100 ميترز so I can find V, it is around 28 meters per second, which is 100 kilometers per hour. So I put a sign for the buses and uh, cars that you cannot surpass this velocity. If you do, the bus would fall.